2.4 refer to the sketch below on river rejuvenation. So uh, 2.4.1 define the term river rejuvenation. So this is when the river, uh, the river experiences an increase in energy. So an increase in energy. It, in other words, it it erodes vertically. Okay, so vertically, like going up and down. Uh, 2.4.2 identified the feature at a a here. That is a nick point. That is a nick. 2.4.3, how does feature A indicate that river rejuvenation has taken place? So you're a little bit cooked if you don't know that was a nick point. So yeah, you'd, you might struggle a little bit in 2.4.3. So in other words, um, there's a there's a change. Look, that triangle means delta. So in, in other words, there's a change in the gradient. Okay, so dropping some B squared minus 4AC tings here. Uh, the discriminant under that quadratic formula, under the root, sorry, under the root in the quadratic formula, math lit kids. If you're confused, don't worry. It's okay. This is a, this is a math lit. It's not in math lit. I mean, I, yeah, you guys don't do quadratic formula at all. Math, my, the pure math kids are, are traumatized though. Traumatized. A lot of them wish they had just dropped. It's hectic paper. Hey, paper one was rough with two Fs. Okay, and also evidence of vertical erosion as well. So like just vertical erosion, um, erosion. Uh, other answers, just water flowing faster and evidence of old and new um, river profiles. 2.4.4, describe the change that river rejuvenation has made to the landscape at B, to the landscape at B, there it is. It formed a valley in a valley. So like a meta valley almost. Valley in a valley. That's cute, eh? Like this is a valley and then there's like a further valley in there. And or maybe inside it there's another valley and another valley and, and it just, it never ends. And the, the river channel, it got deeper, steeper, wider, whatever you like. Those are all possible answers to 2.4.4. And I have too much fun making these videos. Uh, refer to the river terraces. So here are the river terraces here. There's a little arrow. 2.4.5, how do river terraces form? So nice little theory question here, uh, 2.4.5. So vertical erosion occurs on, on the floodplain. So just again, more vertical erosion occurring on the flood plain, not plain like aeroplane, like A-I-N. And a new river valley is formed. So new river valley formed. Um, and also this creates like the step-like feature, uh, which is known as a terrace. And the old floodplain is now the river terrace. And 2.4.6, why are some river terraces not suitable for farming? What's the reasoning behind it? The main reason is that it's just, okay, let's just give two nice points here. Please feast your eyes, uh, top left. It's just, it's far away from water sources. So it's it's far from water. I think that is the greatest like pullback factor. It's also rather difficult and expensive. So it's difficult plus expensive to build infrastructure. And any examples you would have given here were fine. Um, and just some more. River terraces can be very narrow, limited use of machinery, perhaps a decrease in soil fertility, or in other words, thin soils, and even slopes. Uh, that just whole idea of a, of a rugged landscape. Um, so yeah, anything along those lines would have definitely scored you the mark. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope I uh, helped a little bit, or maybe just some nice recap and revision for your paper. Yeah, thanks guys.